Right, not sure how long you got to see the awkward smile, but I now know that we are live. And um, what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be animating a girl skipping. Um, one of the Real Animator Training Library members who has uh, completed all the archives is now working on his own personal project and has posted something in the group uh, where he's trying to animate a girl skipping. And I thought, well, why not I do a live stream animating a girl skipping um, and uh, sharing some secrets, some animation secrets with you all on how to animate a skip cycle. We're going to be doing it from a three quarter view, uh, but we're going to, I'm going to show you how I would work that out. I've been animating uh, skipping a lot last year, as some of you know, with my little red film. And so much so, I mean, some of most of you who watch my channel know that I just knocked that out. And um, while I'm proud of it, uh, the animation, I didn't really concentrate hard of it, but I've been accused of rotoscoping and all kinds of things, which I find hilarious because, you know, if given the time, I would I would have worked a lot harder on the on the animation, but I just wanted to knock it out quickly. Um, I'm going to share that little red with you at the beginning of the stream. Uh, just to allow some of you to collect in time that I know you're not going to want to miss this animation. Um, it's only a minute and a half and um, and then we're going to start animating. Uh, okay, so um, let's uh, let's screen. Now if I go on to the YouTube um, YouTube here you can click on this video little red traditional animation is back um, and you can see that um, a lot of uh, you know I was trying to raise money to get to get the four minute film finished uh, there's a link here that you can click on if you'd like to help out with that but uh, anyway let's just watch it um. Skip cycle, you can see. More skipping, more skipping. Little red, how softly you tread. Unbeknownst of the story that more lies skipping. ahead. So more skipping, there you go. He doesn't do much skipping. Clothed in red, carrying a go. basket of bread for your grandmother, who lies sickly in bed. Hasten Boys your skipping. step and remember what was said. Do not stop for strangers, for it is then you must dread. That was the little short that I made. It says hair very subtly. Maybe I shouldn't have been so subtle about it. I would have uh, probably hit my funding goal, <laughs> but never mind. Um, so you can click on that link and we'll just quickly click on it now uh, before we get started. And it explains here presenting Little Red. You can watch the thing again here. Uh, one minutes and 21 seconds of four minutes is completed. Um, a little explanation as to uh, what it all is, what the project is. Uh, little Red captures the nostalgic look of 1990s feature animation. An AMB animations director, Urshad Mirza Beg, has thus far animated a minute and 21 seconds entirely on his own. Um, the, he has single-handedly completed the film's pre-production, script, concept art, character design, art direction, storyboard layout, production, rough animation, cleanup animation, background art, final color, voice narration. Yes, I did the voice too. Post-production, compositing, editing, color grading. The music and sound effects were produced by AMB Animation's Martin Elden, the objectivist guitarist under AM Urshad Mirzabeg's direction. Okay, so phase one has been completed. Uh, phase two um, is is what i'm looking for to finish the full four minute film storyboard animation rough to finish layout uh background art editing post-production music and sound effects and um 
This is about 70,000 pounds. You might think, well, well, that's a lot for four minutes. Well, animation is is expensive to get at a high quality. And, I, uh, you know, I don't want to be doing four minutes entirely on my own. And then we're going to be pitching the thing to make phase three, which is a feature film development project expansion into proposed 90 minutes hand-drawn animated feature. So most of the times when you pitch animation um, to, 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 to develop uh, greater costs, they're not going to go to a first-time director who's written the script by himself or whatever like that. You need to use capital to get some names involved, and this isn't that much for that, by the way. So just giving you an, an, an idea as to how uh, how the money is spent when you raise money for a project. So a little insight into there. So anyway, you can go in here and I've, I've, I've turned it into like um, uh, your donations. So one bucks, five bucks, 25 bucks custom amounts. So it's actually not that unrealistic. If you've got like, we've got 189 views, 330 views here. If just a, you know, a, you know, if a fraction of that had given one, uh, dollar even we would have hit the funding goal and you would have had a great traditional four minute traditional animation film possibly being pitched to Netflix or HBO Max or anything like that the film would be all yours to watch on YouTube anyway but the pitch would go forward um, to get the full thing made so that was the little red thing um, and we're gonna jump in and animate it at the moment but I'll just show you something funny um, and I, I highlighted this mostly I mean we've got uh, 559 comments and the like to dislike ratio is amazing we've got 96% um, likes and most of these comments are really much in support people are really enthusiastic uh, really wanting to uh, watch uh, Little Red and see it made uh, so that's a really good sign you can go and read them yourself. I'm not gonna 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 read those up. But what what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to animate a skip cycle from scratch. Uh, I did have uh, I did study a ballet dancer uh, because I wanted her to skip gracefully. I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be doing something off the top of my head. So I did study a ballet dancer, but I did not you know I made sketches of that, and that is on in the Real Animator Training Archives, and many people here have actually tried to tell these people look he's done some of this live and animated some of this live and we've watched him and uh, it's funny anyway so I highlighted I highlighted uh, these particular comments because I find them funny um, so we've got um, bum, bum, bum. oh here we go this looks traced and Hervonia Baker says uh, it's not traced. This is pure animation skill that was hand drawn by a master. Um, yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that one, buddy. He says. Uh, Hervonia G Baker says. Well, if you were to watch some of the videos that this man puts up, he animates live. People can get to this level. Have you ever heard of the Nine Old Men? Well, Hervonia Baker is one of my loyal, uh, regular people who attends my streams. But hey, I, I take that person calling it traced as an absolute comment. Uh, compliment because you know it's far from that it's far from this person oh, I see a lot of rotoscoping I see a lot of rotoscoping um, and you know this guy Frank makes movies he was passionately like um, trying to say well this was done by one person if you took time to educate yourself you could learn something and keep from making stupid worthless envy well frank i love frank he didn't have to say that but i appreciate the feedback frank uh just brought you uh just because you can't imagine your well, yeah thank you frank um but you know i guess people have got their views um and he says uh and he's going back uh, also i've also been a professional artist for seven years, illustration, animation was my first choice, but my school didn't seem to know how to teach children with multiple learning disabilities, so university was never an option. Like, uni, uni wouldn't have helped you anyway. Um, you already probably know more. Uh, sorry, one more thing. Are you liking your own comments? So Frank, realising, he says, I hope you're having success in illustration. It's not too learn to learn real animation anyway so then some some other people chime in uh drina milton says if you watched any of his santa videos you'll see he draws 
He can draw and animate effortlessly without reference, which is what we're going to be doing today, while also explaining it and helping others. And um, uh, this person comes back, doesn't really matter. Rotoscoping saves time and money. Most people do it. He's just doing it over animation that already exists. Never said it was shameful, but I can spot it from a hundred miles away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if people would actually it's so funny what people think they remember like some people think I'm, I'm i'm tracing beauty and the beast look if i'm gonna trace disney animation beauty and the beast is not their highest point okay i'm not gonna be tracing um an 18 year old james baxter or a 20 year old no no there's milk carl there's mark davis there's frank thomas i'm not gonna be tracing uh 21 year old whatever james baxter no um uh, Indigo Mage comes in and says, Yeah, yeah, I could see it too. This movie looks insanely unoriginal. And the scene where she pulls the hood up, I instantly thought it looked traced from some other Disney movie. Yeah, it was Belle. Lol, there's a lot of Belle. Now, I do concede my design might look a bit like Belle. Um, that was completely unintentional. Uh, Belle, the Disney style like anime can be quite generic. And when you knock out a character quickly, I knocked out a generic character and didn't think, I thought I'd put a bit of my daughter in it, uh, tied her hair back, didn't think it would look too bell like uh, And then stepping away from it, I'll concede, yeah, it does look a little bit like Belle, but actually put it next to Belle. Belle is a way better design, I'll concede that. Belle has had a lot of time and effort put into it. Um, and Belle, while it might have some similarity, if you actually pulled a picture of Belle and put it next to my little red. You can, it's not that, it, you know, there's an apparent difference. Um, do you think Disney will slam the mighty hand of God and find some lawsuit against these guys? Because like tracing animation, if not house, it's absolutely theft. So I've been accused of theft here. <laughs> no, no, no. People have been doing it for years. They won't care. Unless a total likeness is taken. She moves like Bill, but she doesn't look like Bill. Okay. She looks like a bad knockoff of Bill. Take that. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so I actually find that extremely complimentary. Extremely complimentary. So that's what I, why I'm so happy about the little red comment re, uh, responses and reactions. Um, because even the bad ones are great. You have people going, you really nailed that director fe feature video look. Um, how much does the average director feature video cost? How many people work on the average director video feature? So it can't, you know, for me, there can't be a bad comment. It's, it's absolutely great. This whole little red thing, all the feedback is absolutely great. So anyway, um, that was just to prime you what we're doing today. Uh, and just to go, okay, well, uh, we're going to animate something live without reference. I may get out of my chair and figure stuff out, uh, and that can be considered as reference. But we're going to animate something live. It's going to be a skipping cycle. It's going to be a girl skipping, a uh, little red. Um, and we're going to have some fun on today's stream. So that was the little intro to that. So let's close that down. We don't need that anymore. Let's take that away and put that back into my tabs all right so um before we begin um it's only fair, fair to say, to say a, a few hallows to people, to people. Um, so, so if people are people, people have just joined, joined the stream thinking they're going to watch animation straight away bye bye, bye, -bye. all right uh, this, this is for my this most of my, most of my content is always for the people who um are giving me their time and energy so i'm going to acknowledge them um camera Lana davidson black how are you kitchikat some matrix dylan draws uh cp video productions um well hope you're well mute midri animations good to see you um ba -ba -ba. why didn't you mention about where to fund little red when you posted the trailer i put it in the yeah I thought I could be discreet, and that's something you should never be. Um, 
it's uh, when you when you're looking for funds I put it at the end of the video and said below in the description and maybe maybe just maybe that's why the we couldn't get it um, but, uh, but I'm, I'm running ads I'm raising views um, hopefully uh, people will see and maybe I'll bring a bit of attention to it with this stream we'll see um, yes I do love hand drawn animation uh, Charlene good to see you uh, Dylan Royer how are you um, yeah, the haters, the haters, the, it's funny, they're haters, but they're also lovers because they obviously think my work is so good that it's traced of, if not Disney, other Disney films, it's rotoscoped. And that's me at my most quickest, possibly just standard level of animating. Um, <laughs> um, this stream is gold. How are you? Uh, Hung Ming Hui, good to see you. Um, okay, there we are. Hey, Max Power has joined the chat. Max Power up. <laughs> How are you, buddy? All right, now let's um, let's start animating. Let's start doing a skit. Now, while I'm live, I don't want to scare my beautiful little cat who's over there. I'm going to figure out the skit that I'm going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be a ballet dancer today because I've forgotten that. Okay, I rushed that animation out and I've forgotten how the ballet dancer skips. So I'm going to do my own thing. It's going to be a little hop. So we're going to hop. Hop. She's not going to be like doing a skip like this, but her feet are going to come together. So hop, feet together, step, hop. So it's going to be a hop feet together, step, hop, hop, feet together, hop, feet together, just like that. That's what I'm thinking. But she's not going to be hopping. I just looked at myself in the in the playback, and I do not look like a graceful girl at, well, at, at all. It looks like I'm going hop, 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 kick, kick, <laughs> skip back, change. <laughs> That's what it looks more like I'm doing um, in the... Uh, in the playback but uh we'll see um i'm just gonna do it off the top of my head it's gonna be a cute little girl skipping and hopefully it doesn't look like a taekwondo warrior changing and skipping his uh legs around well that's good kung fu it's actually taekwondo uh <laughs> cpv i used to be a martial arts instructor in my youth that was about 20 years ago or over 20 years ago now my goodness, I'm old. Yeah, 44 minus 20. Yeah, over 20 years ago, <laughs> I was a Taekwondo instructor from about I'm on my like 19, 20, 21. Um, yeah, man, I'm old. <laughs> okay, but I'm wise, and I'm going to share that wisdom with you. Okay, right. Um, let's go back change the camera angle okay um so the first thing we're gonna do is i'm not gonna care about drawing the character i've probably forgotten how to draw the character i haven't drawn her since since i released that trailer which was a long time ago so i'm just gonna gonna see her face which you know was the typical amb lady eye and I said I'd base it on my daughter, which I didn't really look at my daughter. I just basically made the AMB lady have a childlike, more childlike face with bigger eyes. Um, and the nose was like this. And the big, really big fat eyebrows were from my daughter. And the mouth had a dink in the bottom lip which is what my daughter has it actually does look a bit like my daughter actually so this was little red's face not exactly bell's face right it's probably the hairstyle that makes it look like bell um which i do concede i do concede um but the hairstyle was very simple i wanted something simple and quick to animate so i did that and that gives it that bell feeling to it and what what ha if we had full funding i would not use this design i would look at the actress mia sara 
My daughter's name is also Sarah, but <laughs> we'll look at the actress Mia Sarah from Ridley Scott's Legend. Um, and I would redesign the character to be more like that. But I don't have time when I wanted. I wanted to knock something fast. So then we just create a curtain like this and a curtain like this around here. And we created this kind of hair. And that is the hair is the identity. And that's probably where, you know, Bell's hair doesn't quite do that, but it's very similar. And that's probably where the whole um, that looks like Bell thing came from, because you can like. I remember reading Glenn Keane's notes on Ariel, and I really should have remembered this when doing that hairstyle. But like he, he like Ariel doesn't even have eyes like this. Let's give, let's give the AMB lady eyes on 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 this, right? But then the minute you like go like this, right? And the minute you go like this, suddenly it's got an Ariel feel to it, right? Ariel has eyes like this, right? And they're a lot smaller and she doesn't have fat eyebrows right but it happens the hairstyle is says a lot it's the same with anime i mean a lot of anime faces are interchangeable and the hairstyle um is the thing that um makes them look uh the way they look um, the identity so that's why you know very quickly when you know the whole if we took the amb lady which is the whole little red design and i've changed the amb lady i've gone more blues and less disney renaissance um uh, i've made the amb lady's eyes smaller now but um if we do that the amb lady her identity is this right so her identity here is this what frames the hair that's what makes the character have its identity but i'm not sure we're going to be focusing too much on faces and models so right before i go about animating that cycle i'm gonna do in the corner here like a little reference for me to work uh, one of the reasons we like to work in in slow in profile is it helps us when i was a cg animator yes i was for a short while i even was a supervising cg animator at the boutique studio and i went on to, la to later even though i didn't animate in the computer after my storyboarding i went came back to animation and became an animation director on the lego legends of chima which was all cg we would always like to look at uh, the character from side view and then look at it from front view uh, and that was how we sort out any imbalances now i'm not gonna really care too much about my arms right at the moment i'm one of more wanting to think of, like the main thing is is this little hop pose right so i'm thinking of the up like that now i'm gonna work this out in a straight ahead way and then we're gonna think of pose to pose right so the hop is gonna come up a little bit right this is gonna come in like this now i've got to remember to make her more girly girl right because as you can see in my little play in my mind of what a skip is i was doing what i my default skip now she's gonna kind of land right so this leg is gonna be coming through here like this we're gonna have her land i'm remembering the whole um ballet dancer thing as soon as i start drawing the now of course i've gone and put that too high so let's we're gonna need a oh yeah that's we're gonna need the floor i don't really need to draw the floor just yet right so that's we can make that foot nice and graceful like that. We can have the head come down. So straight ahead, I'm going to get a lot of problems in terms of the volumes and all that. Not interested. I'm just working out body mechanics. So then, then as this lands, right, she's going to land and all her weight's going to come down on this foot. Bum, 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 right. 
then then this is going to carry over in here and i was almost going to make her stand like she's like round one fight dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there you go anyway uh so there she'll land like that there like this all right and her head will be here bum 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 so then this we're gonna go into a down as the feet come together this is the tricky bit right the feet together right so then this is gonna be in a down like this then this is gonna come up off the ground all right like this up down feet together um so as the feet then this foot will then make contact with the ground here and this has all got to cycle right so this is a small step you see my line is a lot more searching as I'm trying to figure this stuff out. This foot comes up, right, as we skip. Gentle hop, feet together. This will come together like this, staying in this pose, right. Um, hop, feet together, this comes down. And then this is going to come back to this pose. So I might take this hair just for now. Ba -ba -bum. My pleasure, Kevin Silver. This is, you know, this is the, the community that we have. You give me ideas of things to learn, things to see. Now this could be an issue here. I'm going to watch that. That's the initial body mechanics. Skip feet together now we're gonna move into a down position from here right so this is the middle I need to I need to stop this from wandering we need to find the middle point because it's a cycle um, so I'm gonna put this here um, and I'm gonna put this back here right yeah so then maybe right, bum, bum, bum. so then again I'm going to have to think about putting this back to the center right and then we're going to bring this on the spot here bum, bum, bum. like that right that is an area for concern but usually when we block so my body mechanics here i know what i'm doing but i i think it could be better but usually when i block i don't stumble right you don't stumble when you're running all right real animators pay attention right Pay attention. Pay attention, I'm going to give you a visual, visual thing, thing in your mind, mind so, so to help, to help you, you when you're animating. Right? Right? Imagine, Imagine that I'm running. Stumble. Right? What, what do I do? Do I go, I go back and look at what I stumble? stumble? No. no. I've got to get the goal. Running. Stumble. Keep going. Stumble. Trip. Fall. Keep going. Right? right? So, so when, when you animate, animate right? right? Remember, remember that. that. Don't, Don't get, get caught, caught up at, at this stage. stage. That's, that's how you get, get to be efficient. efficient. That's, that's how you get, get to be fast. That's, that's how you get, get to be great. great. Okay. Um, so we're going to be going here. Then we're going to go into the down position. All right. So we're going to go further down. into a down position i'm not even worrying about getting the pelvis box like getting the pelvis angle and all that at the moment right so all i'm concerned about 
is now this is going to be a big down because it's going to be a big hop right all I'm concerned about is getting the idea across right and then again we're going to go in she's going to change sides so now we've gone to the so I've completed one kind of rough idea of what this is right but we're going to change that so I'm not going to use the same position never do that right I'm going to put in the rear leg here like this you can <laughs> so this is going to come up here like this all right and then we're going to have twist and turn on the body and all that but we we want to work out this first right everything else is in relation to this right so what have we got at the moment let's have a look we've got skip skip together step skip right that's what we've got at the moment right. skip together step skip together step like that now we're going to do the same thing on the other side right so what did what happened it went up more down and then back to that right so then we're going to solve this so then again from a straight ahead perspective we're going to rise that higher bring that back actually yeah it was more like this this is more like a I'm making it more like a martial artist here so let's bring this more here forward relaxed kind of thing so I'm working out what to do here all right bringing this up here like this bum, 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 bum. All right. then this is gonna come down on the hopping on this leg right so we're gonna bring this leg down gonna bring this <laughs> kicking the leg out there gonna bring this leg is going to be coming like this and we're bringing her down like that bum, 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 bum. yeah there we go bum, bum. let's look at the flow at the moment um, skip together skip yes yeah, skip together skip skip together skip yeah we're getting something um, right so now we're going to uh, move on so then what happened what happens she lands in that uh, martial science pose right so I'm going to get this um, here and put that there and yellow that that helps me keep the positions kind of centered right so then this is going to be here like this and this one and the more like I, I run through the mechanics and run through the motions I'm gonna be able to um, right that's good yep yeah. um, again Kevin whoever else look I'm not trying to animate a basic stick man okay when you're working in the basics archive and you're doing all these separate parts it's basic you don't know anatomy you don't know drawing very well you don't understand solid drawing all these different appendages are follow through and overlapping at different arcs and you got to learn all that right but then you watch how when we become advanced and the know-how is developed right the acquired knowledge the know-how is developed look how I'm roughing the human figure now right none of this trying to rough and worry about all these different things right 
that this eventually becomes a flow process, right? So just to m remind you real animators in the chat who are watching this live um, about that, right? So then we had this whole step together. Let's try and build on this and work this out better, right? So from here, there's going to be a down pose here, right? Right, and yeah, that was the down pose, and it, it just needs a breakdown of an up, I think. Right, and then this is going to come up. Ah, I think I know what. I think I know what needs to be done here. That's my problem. What I missed out here. maybe this pose should be a little bit different yeah right so yeah um so let's go with that that's the down right now what will happen is, is is then this foot will step like a pass position right this is where i went off this needs to be like a pass position not do frontal right should be more like a pass position bum, bum, bum. and then you go back into this pose bum, 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 bum. yeah that's it i didn't come back i made this pass position a little too much like a step right yep so this comes up here. This is again why the whole walk cycle thing is super important. It's all down, up, pass position, and all that kind of stuff. Right, so let's go back to this pose. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see what we have. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'm going to go back here and resolve this. So down step together so this is going to be a down like this so this is going to come into the down we're gonna linger on that just a little bit more bum 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 that's it bum, bum, bum. now this becomes a pass position um yeah so then this is the mid point very important right like this um, then she's gonna step back down onto that into that position which I'll need a little bit of a breakdown drawing in there so this comes and steps back into that position and then we want to add our down before cycling back to this right so we're gonna put that there and we're gonna add our down position what's up sweetheart you want to leave excuse me i just let my princess out let's see if you can see her some, some of you like cats, cats. Come, come on then princess come on sweetheart i've got no food for you darling come on come on sweet off you go no come on out She really is the boss of me, and my um, my wife always says I'm far too soft with her. She rules me, but I don't mind. Um, all right. Um, this, then we're gonna hit this into the down position, like this somewhat like th 
this. And then you would go back, if I wanted to do this cycle in properly, I would go back and pick out these keys, right? And I would, um, I would then, okay, so this leg is then going to come through to that. I would then go and refine all that, right? Not sure if that's, that slide back is good enough for this position. So this position is, this position comes here. So the slide back doesn't really work, but I don't care. I've, as I said, uh, you'll pull it together after this. So we've got skip together, skip together, right? Like this, this kind of thing. Let's, let's just um, copy, paste, and paste right so we have skip together skip together skip together skip together skip together skip together right like that and that's kind of like what what the basic locomotion move of what is going to be the skipping cycle um in that regard uh, but we're going to flesh it out we're going to make it look better so i've kind of got something to confidently work with um before i go in and do the three-quarter view um i'm going to now go and have a rough idea of what to do with the arms right so let me let me be like have just the arms out in a w pose like this right you have the arms out in the W pose, right? So then as this comes here, the arms are going to come down, right? And then maybe I'll have to, I'm not really caring too much about my, it's funny, I always say animation is all about arcs, but at the moment I'm not caring too much about that because now I'll just, Put some drag on the wrists, right? Some drag on the wrists here as we kind of change that up, right? Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Because I because this isn't the angle I'm going to be animating it. This is just you know me working out the mechanics of it, right? So um, right, and then we're going to go and then on the this thing. In the down, this is going to come back here. This is going to go here like this, like that. All right. Then this is going to, this arm is going to remain back. All right. So we're going to bring that here like this. We're going to bring this. So this is all straight ahead on the hands, but it's just to give me an idea to inspire me as I move on with it. So you'll remember in the intermediate archives of the Real Animator Training Library, I took you through the four-step human walk cycle, right? And if you think about it, this is very similar to the four-step human walk cycle. Right, which I'll give you a quick look at after I've kind of roughed these arms out, right? So now we're going to go even lower. Now, when you do straight ahead animation like this, the arcs are not going to be clean. They're just, we're just working stuff out, right? So actually, maybe on this down, I'll bring her arms up to keep them in position like this right bam, 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 bam. and then we'll go which is gonna be like that right so then then they're gonna come down a bit right like that so now I'm working out the maybe I can open them out a bit to stop them from being so um, locked right but at the moment, as, I, as we're going in this kind of phase, right, 
we're not too concerned about that uh, where you do there's so much going on here that we're just doing letting our brain work it out right that's what it is now the drag in the hand the drag in the wrist as we change look at all how these all come together like this i hope you're enjoying this content right and then this is gonna come and drag here in this position and maybe we won't maybe we'll just see that there like that bum, bum. with this hand now coming through and this hand we'll drag it back there like this just thinking of a w and a u and all that kind of thing right so now we'll move those forward we'll keep that there bum, 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 bum. Um, now this of course the whole hands have to be now I'm gonna take the hands of this because it's got a cycle and everything in a cycle has to kind of add up bum, 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 bum. yeah bum. so this is where they're gonna bob down a little bit and then bob back up which it which may be a little odd so I need to obviously this isn't timed out right these are just the main poses it's not timed out so you need to slow in and soften certain things right well it's not looking too bad um, so let's just watch it on there right right so we have something like this um, well, hold up, Kevin. I'm uh, I'm just giving you ideas like this is fleshing things out, right? But um, before we, you know, there's still a lot more to to be done, right? Um, so let me actually I'm gonna want to copy these frames, and then we're gonna want to paste these frames here and paste these frames here. So let me have a little look at this. Right, so now we've got the skip cycle like this, right? Right, all in around. Well, we've had a lot of fun. I wouldn't say it's 47 minutes, I would say probably half an hour. Um, I'm, I've done stuff to feel confident now about, um, about what I'm animating, right. So there you can see um, uh, how the mechanics, the body mechanics are worked out, right? And as I said, where this is the very earliest stage. This is how I would animate Little Red, right? I would, I would look at, you saw me animate Tailspin, the characters dancing, how I would freeze frame YouTube videos and make little rough drawings, right? So I wouldn't get out of my chair and try to be Little Red because uh, as you saw me doing it, I was more like a martial artist rather than a, a happy little girl, right? Uh, so um, I would make sketches and then I would just block uh, from my thumbnails like this and that's how uh how the whole um process is done but now i would then have to then go okay well that's the it's all fun uh, but now we've got to switch from the law of um, the law of straight ahead this is all one law, so we're not switching. We're switching between the one law. We've used straight ahead animation, right? Uh, we have an in between it all, so it's not complete like every frame straight ahead, but we've used straight ahead animation to work out uh, locomotion. 
Come on, come on, do the locomotion with me. You gotta swing your hips now. Come on, baby. Right, so then we've, we've used straight ahead for that. And we're going to switch between this law, which is one law, to uh, the law of bows to bows animation. Right. So we've got to go to um, bows animation like that. So there we go. Um, and what we're going to do with pose to pose is we're going to find our main poses, like our hop pose, our contact pose, our down pose, right, and our our boss position, um, our lead position. So this is weak, right? This particular one, our down pose again, and then that's how we're going to. Um, go ahead and lock the volumes and all those things but we're not going to stick to this angle right we're not going to new 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 we're not going to stick to that angle we're going to work with a character that is uh, the three quarter character which is going to be like this so I've got this to look at here and I'm going to be thinking about a three quarter um, uh, thing to think about. So then I'll be thinking about the hip turning, um, the hand coming forward here, the hand going back here, right? So now more drawing. Drawing. We are going to be doing more drawing now. We are confident to switch from this to this. And now we will be doing both animating. Animating and drawing. Right. So that's what we are going to be doing. But uh, I'm going to take a little breather uh, and share some thoughts with you from some library members and then we're going to do the second half of the stream. So take it away, Dwayne Stafford Gale. So, um, AMV is the greatest archive anyone could ever ask for. You know, of all the books I've read, of all the other online tutorials I have seen, this was the missing key. Every video is like packed with this information that I would never be able to get anywhere else. So I would say this, this is the greatest resource for learning animation. For me, AMB Animation Library is hands down the best animation learning resource that I've seen. I've tried all the tutorials, I've gotten all the books, I've never been able to um, really grow until I found AMB. And it's incredible. I've only just begun it, but like, I definitely am getting more from that than I did from my one and a half years of college. I've noticed definitely that my animation has improved a lot, and it's more alive than ever. And what I also like about his animation training is that you also gain real confidence. Real Animated Training Library is unequivocally the best resource uh, for animation, 2D animation, traditional hand-drawn animation that I've seen. So I wholeheartedly recommend the AMB Real Animator Training Library to anybody who wants actual knowledge and actual applicable concepts uh, to create their own animation and to move forward in the field of animation and to set your work above those uh, that are just kind of teaching themselves and not learning these true, tried and true classic concepts. AMB is motivated by his students' successes and improvements. He's a great teacher, a great animator with over 20 years' experience in the industry, so you can't really get much better than that. I strongly recommend him to anybody. I'm thinking on how to put in words what I feel about it. I love that. 
It approached me from my dream of becoming an animator. Every cent I paid in there was worth it. I like that the library is structured. I can go back and watch it anytime I want to. And um, he's just got so much knowledge. And uh, I just highly recommend it to anyone who's out there looking to learn traditional 2D animation. And so thank you, MB, so much. And uh, thank you so much for like all you've done for me. <laughs> so, are you going to join the library? Okay, so that is that. That is the Real Animator Training Library. Just read the comments and I got freaked out because Kevin Silver was saying, bye Kevin, and I thought, is Kevin Silver going? And then I realized, oh, there are two Kevins on the stream. Like, Kevin's saying bye-bye to himself. <laughs> Kevin Cammons. Kevin Cammons is still in the stream. Don't worry, Kevin Cammons, uh, another Training Library member. This stream is uh, staying up. It's not going anywhere. Um, this is what I call uh, good quality edutainment that you're getting free i'm not going to put it in the edutainment archives it's not going anywhere uh so i'm going to continue with this and uh, and it, you know uh it also demonstrates how great uh you know because if you really want to learn how to do stuff like this it's an intermediate exercise in the real animator training library now i'll talk more about that later on and show you that exercise and a little bit more about the library which you just saw the commercial for just now which is the, you know, I'm sponsoring myself, the official sponsor for my AMB animation live streams. Uh, so um, more on the library later, but now we're going to start coming in here and uh, doing, let me just, oh dear, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. I want to delete all of the additional cycle frames that I had. So I'm going to find the point where we are there to there delete that yes yeah, so we cycle back from that to that right so we're gonna create our cycle now from a three-quarter perspective I may not have time to draw the little girl in on top I don't think most of you care anyway you can see where this is going you're more interested in knowing about the movements um, only the lightweights are concerned about volume and things like that people who really you know or the kind of people who just sift through my quality live streams just looking for and then they'll go to another video by somebody else who doesn't know jack shit and you know a software tutorial and think they're looking for a way to keep form and volume so um, I've talked about that in many other free streams as well as uh, you know gone into detail greater detail with the library material but uh, here we're gonna be doing the actual animation so now I'm going to think about the um, the uh, these poses here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just make these my favorite visible color for me. I don't know if you can still see them when they're yellow, right? Um, uh, so I have them as reference while I'm animating my things. Now I. I'm doing this as pose to pose, but I may do to keep my volumes a little bit tighter, but I may just feel along my way along in the three quarter view in a straight ahead manner. And if there's enough time at the stream, we'll work with her construction rather than putting the dress on it and all that. And we'll just uh, switch to pose to pose then to get final lock locking. Uh, of everything right so I'm gonna put my yeah this is the perfect my guide here because this guide is gonna be up well rather than me drawing a floor line I'm just gonna use that as my default floor um, to get this in now I'm gonna thin my brush slightly a lot um, so now uh, we're going to think about this pose, right? So first thing I'm going to think about is the hips. Now the hips and the shoulders are going to be relatively quite the same, but there's going to be a little bit of a push 
and they're gonna be quite level here just a little bit of a, a raise maybe on on this side still um, where where that is right because it's being dragged right and then I'm gonna figure out the dorso to kind of counter that a little bit now her center line is here right her pelvis is here like this right so this is gonna be this leg is gonna be forward right like this and this leg is gonna be hanging back right like that now I'm gonna keep her toes inwards pointing towards each other right like that right so we've got something like this that's a little bit too much muscle there I like to work with muscles to help now look at the torque this triangle is turning the rib cage is here right the clavicle is here right the head is going to be centered now this is this way I'm gonna have a little bit of a dip in the head like this right now her proportions look very uh, athletic but that's my default drawing when I work with things like this. As I said, you're going to pull the character on model later on. But my default is to, whether it's a young girl or a, or, or a full-grown woman or vice versa, boy, man, um, we are going to work. Now I'm going to think about making helping my perspective by just bringing this arm this is remember we very quickly made a w pose we're still using the w pose but we're just making it more interesting like that right let's put some structure there so i can uh, get the form of her dress when you add it because she's old enough to have a bit more development on her but not too much right so there we are so that's the um that's the first pose right so now i'm gonna kind of ignore this next pose or shall i no let's just go with it let's go with it let's go with it Let's then drag it up. I'm going to think about the the figure of eight arcs, but I have to be careful. Um, because, because I've got to remember the angle. So I could come back and, and make the arcs a little bit better. Right? So I'm going to open this leg up a bit. I'm going to work on that. Now the pelvis is going to be moving more forwards, right? Like this. The pelvis is going to be moving more forwards. This leg is going to be coming off. Now look at the arc of the foot as I'm doing that, right? Now I may want to have her just a little bit higher to push it, right? I'm going to have her a little bit higher to push it like that. Now I'm going to put even more twist on the body, right, like that. More twist on the body like that. Then we're going to bring the hands up and through. Yeah, this, this is, so I'm still using the straight ahead. I'm revising what I originally did, okay, hair like this see lots of rotoscoping going on here I can spot it from a mile off <laughs> it's too much effort for me to rotoscope I tell you when you get to my level it's too much effort too much effort rotoscoping isn't as easy as a lot of people think it is right especially when you want to put a, a, a model on there right um, so so funny um, some of the comments I get 
All right, so we have this like this. Now we're going to have the the land pose. Now that's the background. So this is going to be the foreground. Um, so then she's going to hop down here. All right, so she's going to hop down here. Gonna use this kind of thing to have the proportions of her there, like that. Then this is gonna come forward like that. All right. Now, as she hops, there's going to be a little bit of a, a pelvis twist here, like this, right? So now this is where real animator training comes into play. The pelvic box, right? The pelvis, the pelvis is twisting. Here like this right? so her leg is very much like this even though she's on her foot we want to convey that right? bum, 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 bum. yeah this would definitely need some in betweening um, so then this this leg then although the pelvis is twisting this leg is going to be coming forward like this right to get the perspective now there's a lot of draw an anatomical drawing that you're seeing me don't get intimidated if you can't draw like this right just use simpler shapes right um use simpler shapes now i'm turning the foot to the side because I think it looks nice. Again, the more life drawing you do, the more understanding you'll get of this kind of stuff. Again, lots of rotoscoping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are with this here. Um, didn't even look at thumbnails, right? Uh, didn't even look at reference other than get out of my chair. Right, so then here now you see my proportions are getting a lot more uh, womanly and athletic as I'm stretching her in the stretch pose so I'm mindful of all of this again don't try to do too much early on which is again I, I want to get the volumes right I want to get the, the characters to be on another no 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 right um, we want to get our mechanics right you can always pull the character on model later on right so then here this foot is here now i'm going to do something interesting i'm going to cross the hand over i'm going to bring the wrist here like this and we're going to play with the wrist like that bum 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 right. So hop, skip. Gonna bring her down a bit. It's a little tall, right? So then we have this arm. I'm gonna bring up over to the side. Or maybe out to the side here like this would be a better arc, right? Bump, bump. Um, yeah this would be a better arc for that hand so again I'm not concentrating on what I've done with the hands on this thing here that was just to get me give me something to to look at right I'm gone I'm, I'm, this was the warm-up right the warm-up to doing something like this now we're going and we're tweaking we're saying okay well that was a good little understanding we're going to take it further right so now we're going to go into a the landing pose right so then with this landing pose here right, i'm going to think of something interesting um we're going to keep that pelvis turning so we're going to keep the pelvis we're going to turn keep the pelvis square on and we're going to 
have it kind of level here actually not so much like that so there's a little bit of a level here we can keep it actually we'll keep it continuing on in that vein don't level it up now this foot bum, 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 is gonna come down here like this all right Bum, right and this is gonna come back like that yeah that's a nice skip hop land then we're gonna be on this kind of floor almost feel like I've got my Glen Keen lines going on here right so again again I just feel as I'm working this out if I see any things where I can address the the volume while I'm there I will it's a little too small now but and that's one of the benefits of being able to work with software you can just change the size quickly but I advise against it to beginners I know that feels frustrating well he's doing it now I want to do it I want to do it he's doing it but the problem is is like if you can't do what I'm doing on this stream and figure all these things out from a basic level there's no point in trying to fix volumes when the movement is flawed right you need to get good at understanding movement first right right so now this arm is then going to come back on itself like this we're still gonna maybe drag the wrist but not too much right this is gonna come shim, shim, shim. nice little wave in the hand there shim, shim. then the shoulder is going to roll so we're very square on here the shoulder is going to this one is then going to come up perhaps it's a little bit big that hand Bum, bum, bum. But we want it to be a little bit playful right so then that's going to come down I'm not paying attention to too much to the head at the moment right so now as we go in this we want to I'm going to ignore this because I kind of know what I want to do now so now I want to move this into a down position further more of a down position right and this um, this has to swing and change actually so I was right to level that up right I was leveling that up right so now we want to <coughs> tackle the pelvic box right and it's going to be turning the body is going to be turning this way but we're going to be keeping the body square on right so bum, bum, this should be more like this then we're going to level this like this right, well, we're going to keep her square on we're going to have her legs bent like this this leg is going to be going even further back right so thinking about the negative space here i'm going back into the whole ballerina thing it's all coming back oh this is for you mute midori i'll sing it in the sheriff's of nottingham voice it's all coming back coming back to me now it's coming back to me there we go right so there we go so the arm is then going to come through and change 
bum, 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 bum. Right. So we're going to have this. It's going to come down like this. Right. Just rough it in. I'm getting rougher and rougher. Bum, 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 bum. Right. Bring that further down. Turn that hand, maybe turn that hand a little bit to the side there like that. Right. Then have the head. Bum, bum. Yeah, this is where the post pose will sort out the bad arcs. Because as we're working this out, there's still going to be a few bad arcs in here. Bum, bum, bum. It was a Celine Dion song. Um, it's all coming back to me now or something. Coming back to me, right? So, um, so now we're going to go into the boss position. So the hip is going to kind of level up somewhat. And then this leg is going to, this leg is actually going to come forward like this. Right. This leg is going to come forward like this this leg the knee now watch what i'm doing to the knee here the knee is out there i'm gonna rotate the knee in as we bring it together like this all right so i'm thinking all about that now again you see i'm bulging the muscles to get perspective and all that i'm not so concerned about the getting it to be like the, the the original model each time i draw this it's getting to that anyway right um as i come in to refine it again right so let's bring the head up then i'm not even really examining like the head is going the head it should be going at a figure of eight arc it is right but I've, it's not tidy at the moment. I'll come back and tidy those arcs when I switch to pose to pose, right? But something like this is, it's, um, it's a lot more, uh, very kind of high level stuff. I'm not going to pretend to you it isn't. So, Especially if you want to be able to work without reference and have it to look like it's referenced. You've got to reach a certain advanced level of mastery, right? Um, so that's why I like to, you to watch me just work this, right? So now we've got this first skip with the step here like this, right? So skip and just moving into the step. Right, so you can see how the arms are arcing and the body is changing. Now this little shuffle, like the skip is exciting, but the little shuffle, right, is what's really going to make it um, come together. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Um, so... There again, we're going to have this switch onto the next step forward. So this leg is going to step down now, all right? So as this leg steps down, this leg is going to come back here like this, all right? And then we're going to have the body kind of raised on it. So I'm going to turn the pelvis over again, right? So notice how I get the iliac rest of that pelvis as I think about that turning right as I'm doing that right now I want the body to turn with so the body's going to be turning like this the S curve of the front torso right this is what makes it feel naturalistic the understanding of the and then naturally the arm is going to come this way, All right? And this arm is going to come here. This is what makes it all feel 
right? Naturalistic and feminine, right? I like it to be very feminine if you are doing a female, right? So this goes here like this. Bum, bum, bum. Because the body structure is different, okay? And no matter how, what your character is doing, it can be doing, it can be the fem, a fem, female character doing the most manly thing in the world, right? It can be, but the structure is different. So the movements and the compensation of weight distribution is going to be different, right? It's very important to understand that, right? So here I'm working on like hips and limb attachments. So we're getting even more away from the cartoon uh, model we were working with as I'm figuring out the anatomy to get it even more authentic in the movement, right? Because that's what we're going for. We're going for authenticity, right? We're going to get to such a level where the average uh, cynical Joe is going to think it's traced or rotoscoped, right? And that, my friends, is an amazing compliment. Zoom, right? So now we've got the step over, right? But that shouldn't be, that, that shouldn't, that's where I've made an error, actually, right? Oops, I've made an absolute error there, right? Skip, we were doing something different, right? Step, and then, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, all right, let's, let's go back to what we were doing, right? I was kind of like naturally, subconsciously doing something else, um, Nice as though this drawing is, we're gonna we're gonna take that away, and we're gonna have to remember what happens is this foot needs to be in front again, right? Bum, bum. So this foot needs to be in front again. So the pelvis. Is like this. Alright. So this is where we're going to need to put some. In betweening. Further in betweening. So this foot. Needs to be in front again. I'm going to still keep that pelvis. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. And this is behind on the ground like that now what we have missing what I'm gonna add right is a very important thing right is we need to step together right so between here and here I'm gonna put something otherwise it's gonna look odd right which is why we were working this out but we're going to need to have this. So as this comes here like this, this comes into the pass position. This comes forward. Um, I'm just wondering if I can save doing an extra in between and do it all in this, right? So this comes forward like this, right? Let's put this foot here. Right, but then let's lift this foot off the ground, right? Like this. I'm gonna lift it like a like a quadruped would, with a little bit of a turn there, like that, right? So subtle stuff. So then this foot comes on the ground here. 
let's have the let's have the foot turned in remember to keep it feminine All right so let's have the this turned in like this right so this is gonna go jim 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 yep so that's right bum 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 yep then we're gonna put the foot down again which is kind of like what we kind of messed up on this this foot should have been up right and then we can go straight into the down maybe yep so let's um let's add a frame so now this foot comes in to the ground subtle right like this we're gonna straighten it straighten the knee always look at the patella arcs right straighten the knee have the foot come to the ground here like this right so the pelvis is then going to be turning So the patella is going to rotate as we bring this foot back, right? So let's just increase the size of my eraser here. Let's turn that around. That could be a little bit extreme, but we want to get the foreshortening to read from this angle. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, nice, nice. Perfect, right? So now we're going to go back onto this. Onto this. You see, she's becoming more like a full bodied woman as I'm, my brain is having to compensate too much um, to work this stuff out. Let me see what's going on with the head. Yeah, the head would come up. Let's let's think about the head a little bit here. Let's have it angled like this, right? And then let's have the arm come down to the back. Bam, 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 bam. And let's bring the arm down and open it up this way. Um, Bum, 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 bum. Right. So that's one um, one uh, step sequence. So so just skip together step, skip together, skip together step. Right. Skip land. Feet comes together and then she steps again. Right. So that's one like that right so now we're gonna do the other side and it's the other skip Th see this this little s step together is the build up to the other skip right that's where we're going to really build this thing up right bum, bum. and then we're going to now go into this dynamic down position what I'm gonna do here right is I'm gonna keep this handy as I go into the next frame so I can pull pull and play with the volume right uh, later on but I, I I can notice myself wandering further and further away when you're working stuff like this and that's fine but then you'll pick a point where you can say okay well I'm now going to to kind of like tie it back together and that's gonna be the next frame so now as we've come here like this I'm going to think of the down position on this limb right it's gonna be like this the down position here and then the down position on this one is so this down this foot should be a lot further further back 
this should be here as we're coming back into it so foreshortening is important with shapes at an early stage right so this foot is coming back always get the foot going back or your cycle is going to go completely to pot right all right so then this comes right behind here like this right like that you work that out right now the hip is like this so the body is gonna be even more like this right even more like Uh, now we work out the hands so the head will come up and then the head will kind of count I would was gonna counter that head but not really it's too ungraceful now the hands are gonna come further back maybe just straighten that hand out a bit like that um, um, then we'll start to arc this hand away a little bit like that so we've got something like that bum, bum, bum. Right, bum. so now here's where I'm gonna start to bring this thing back into um, into field you see how small this all is right so i'm gonna draw it to this size here right so let me just bring this this knee is now going to come forward and this so this knee will be coming forward off here this will need in between right but we're not so concerned about the in-betweens just yet the pelvis will change and this leg will come back so notice how you know remember the intermediate archive where i talked about the flower sack all fitting into a shape it's the same thing notice how i'm trying to fit the the leg um, dynamics all into this kind of like simple shape even though I'm like working on separate limbs right it's all being thought about like that so as this is going here we still want to have the twist in the torso like this so I'm gonna come here right I'm gonna bring this person down a little bit right I'm gonna bring this person down a little bit right um, um, this is gonna kind of help me um, when I come back to sort out the size and proportion changes right just enough it's still still a bit big but that's one we when we switch to pose to pose right there's still a lot of important body mechanics to be worked out here right so then this is where the sudden change up is going to occur but then as we have here i'm going to bring the hand going to change what the hands do on either side so they don't just be so regular right so this hand is going to be out here like this bum, 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 bum. then this hand is going to be coming through here like that bum, 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 bum. yeah that's good so now i've kind of like reined in that shape 
the it's exactly that's what it is that's what the lines are doing Gavin they're dancing on the screen isn't it great to be able to have that power to be able to just make marks and then so there you see where the anticipation build up into the change into the other step right so we have that like that okay just coming through like this into this particular motion here and of course it's all traced and rotoscoped i can spot it from a mile off <laughs> um all right uh we then gonna have the now this is a this is a, a trickier pose because we want to have it coming forward right because i was a, a it's turned into a front view run right which kind of goes a little bit off brief i wanted it to be more of a three-quarter run uh or whatever but as i'm working this out i could go and alter this what I would do, but I'm not going to do it because it'll take too long on the stream, is I would continue animating this as the front. And then as I make my pose to pose drawings and changes, I would then alter it again, just like a, just like using this as reference. So this is how you would do really high level, high grade animation stuff. You see, the whole blocking process is quite simple, really. Right. Um, so let's bring this here like this and let's bring the I want to watch what these legs are doing so the hips are coming up and the hips are coming through so the iliac crest is here like this so we have the the calf here like this and the foot here like that right so then we have the hanging of the other foot it's gonna come back like that which we wouldn't even see right so now her hips are way too wide for a 16 stroke 17 year old right um, of this particular build but again there's so much to be done here that we can't um, waste our brain processes and switch remember how i talked about the the stumbling guy running right we want to get the goal which is great movement um so this head then shoots up like a bouncing ball now this head arc is could be way too boring and uninteresting but we're gonna keep i'm gonna keep it um, it's feeling kind of all right at the moment, but I'm going to keep it. So now I've got to watch the arc of the arms. So the arc of the arms, we're going to keep those arms. We're just going to open it out a bit. We're still going to keep this forward. Then we're going to kind of level this one up a bit like this, right? See how all these things line up, right? All things have to line up. Bum, 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 bum. then hair so again hair I feel it's a little bit on the big side so I'm just gonna bring it into this, like this. Bum, bum, bum. so then we've got the hop right so the hop has to occur so where's the previous hop position is here right this will help right so what you would normally do even if you're working with papers is you get a piece of paper and you put your um, thing on the light box next to it so you would be able to to judge it right so this leg is going to be on the ground right like this and this leg in the foreground Let's just separate it out a bit like this and have that 
angled foot coming like that. So we have something like this. Right. Again, the drawing's a little bit big. So the hot position is here like this, right? So she's making her hop to the ground. Um, like that. Now the body's gonna kind of like level up. I'm gonna bring the head down again. We we've got her way too tall, but hopefully I'm illustrating to you. It's so stupid, and I blame I blame Disney who are now doing exactly what I knew they would eventually do. They're removing Walt's name from the company and they're now calling it Disney, just Disney. Um, I saw something from these guys at Clownfish TV who I actually really appreciate their efforts. I like those guys and girls or, you know, and um, I like to, I don't, focus too much on animation news but when they I just sometimes dip in to see what they say because I like I mean I'm in tune with their their um, views um, and I found out that they're removing the name from it's gonna start with the theme parks but you can bet that's gonna continue but anyway I digress that's I blame Disney for becoming shit and having low standards and not bothering with hand-drawn animation so that young people just only had anime to look at now anime is great but it's not the best for movement and people think oh they just have to do one drawing like a comic drawing and worry about solidity and volume and keeping things the same size that's okay if you're doing primitive stuff like anime in movement wise anime is not primitive in many other things right it's certainly not primitive in its art direction and its design and its cinematography and its you know um, imagination and all these other great aspects that make storytelling and filmmaking great but it's primitive in its animation um, and so a lot of people think oh volume volume and that's all they want to know about is volume but when you, you if if your stuff isn't moving right then you don't really need you can't really care too much about volume right because it it doesn't really move so here you see the step and the hop so the step together hop skip together hop now we're going to do the the land so the next phase after that hop is the foot lands right so that's what we're gonna have now it's always helpful to get the other one so you don't get lost so i'm gonna get the other one and i'm gonna paste that in to position um which i don't i don't switch the legs um the lovely Hervonia Baker has joined us. I don't switch the legs uh, and just keep the pose. Never do that. That's how to get very uninteresting animation, right? Um, but what I do do is I refer to it just to kind of help me get everything where it needs to be right so then this this leg is going to come down here right, like that and this one is going to change in here like that 
All right now I need to think about what the upper torso is doing. We can keep it square on but angled more to this side. All right. What's that head doing? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, the head just the head has to go in a certain place you can clean it and make a nice arc and put perspective and sway and tilt on it at the end right but at the moment this is the most important feature now this arm is going to have to come through and up right so we're going to bring this arm in fact i'm going to get rid of that now because those arms are screwing with me excuse me i'm just going to turn my radiator off the radiator was actually for the cat, not for me. I am baking in this room. All right. So this. Now comes in here. That would be another thing that would annoy my wife. So you suffer so the cat gets comfortable. <laughs> right, so this. Um, like that in um, yeah that's good that works as that hand starts to come through on that side so now you can see if you look at this pose and this pose right I'm not even really looking at that anymore right but you can see how it's all almost it's funny it's even lining up right and I'm not it wasn't even looking at it anymore because I'm just looking at the previous thing and letting my animators brain do the talking let's let's try it with this one here um, again not quite it's more interesting from this view than this view but um, you can see how it's all lining up all right let's now work on the next pose um, so again I'm gonna get my uh, it was a was it a down yeah it was a down it was this down pose what we wanted right um, so it just helps me so again this leg is going to be moving back in that down pose right And this is going to be moving even further back. All right. I will sort that out later. In fact, I will. I don't need this anymore. I've kind of figured out what I want. Right? It's throwing me off. Sometimes it throws you off a little bit. Right? So with that down pose, I'm going to watch what that knee is doing. Bum, bum. I might want to bring the knee together. Remember, keep it, keep it feminine, right? Feminine because the hips are wider. So the knee bend and then the feet are coming together. So we want that knee bend to be more like this. Um, um, really get to see the anatomy working this way right so the hip is going to turn then this knee I'm going to turn in as well right this knee is going to turn in as well this foot is coming back on itself a little bit better like that so let's keep that straight down Let's keep that more like that, right? And we're going to level this up. Let's bring the head just a little bit down to continue with the arc. What's the arm doing? The arm is coming up. Right, so now the arm is going to come over and around. The circular arc up, 
circle. Remember, keep things in a circle. Arcing is, is difficult, but it's not as hard when you just remember what an arc essentially is. It's a circle, right? Even if it's a figure of eight, there's circles involved in that. All right, so now what I'm going to do with this one is push the arm down this side. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. Yeah, that's nice and feminine, this pose. We want that. All right. Notice how I heavy my lines to make nice poses, right? when I find something nice right that really helps to the action I'm gonna watch that shift of weight in the hips to see that working there right there right so then the skip comes up there like that boom hop into the next pose like that perfect hop skip hop right just like that So now we're going to move on to the next pose, which is then what kind of like, I think I added a frame from my mechanics. No, it was the pass position. It was the pass position, wasn't it? So we had the down. Um, down then we had the pass position so I'm not gonna I'm not going to bother too much with that uh, trying to mimic that on this side so let's have the pass position right so let's bring this up let's bring this foot further back as she kind of stands here like this right So there's still a bit of foreshortening, not too much. So the pass position, we brought that knee in, right? So the pass position I'm going to bring in as well, right? I'll bring that up, right? Like this, right? Like that again very very big womanly thighs and hips for a stick twig girl right we don't care we are working out the mechanics right working out the mechanics we'll once you've got that you can rotoscope and trace your own work now isn't that great i can now rotoscope and trace this with the model of my character right um and it's my own animation right which is what makes it even more satisfying right so this is gonna come up here like this bum 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 now we're going to bring this in. Let's bring the wrist out a bit like that. Bum, 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 bum. Is it Wonder Woman or is it Supergirl from Superman Animated? No, this is my little red. Uh, this is how I animated Little Red, right? Um, it's not Wonder Woman, it's not Supergirl, it's AMB, AMB material. But thanks for asking. Um, I'm not so much of a fan of other people's stuff. As I've gotten older, I've just become a fan of my own stuff, you know. Um, this, I like to remember things the way they were, but unfortunately people just keep remaking things which I was a fan of and completely destroying it and then ruining even my sentiments of the original. So... Um, I've just let it all go and I've just become a fan of my own stuff right so now we're gonna have um, did I add a frame in there the pass position came here then the step up yeah no then the step up so that step up has to happen um, okay right so 
this now has to come down as the feet come together so this leg has to step into position like this so first I will figure out that right so it's just a short little step right so I'm gonna change the hips very slightly and this leg is going to be raised off the ground again I'm gonna keep that cat like angle on the foot there just to keep it the arc in motion you know I'm now switching to Don Blue shapes but I want to keep an eye on the patella as this is all very anatomical right so then this steps up into this pose she's getting thicker and thicker getting more and more like the AMB lady the way as opposed to the stick figure of little red right so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna just bring that down a bit right bum, 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 bum. right now I don't want this to be a complete circle like that I want it to be more subtle so I'm gonna bring that there like that right and then the other arm we're gonna bring this gonna have to kind of stay gonna watch out for that arm it's kind of like going in and out again so what I'm gonna do is I is I can fix that hair because that's a problem that's a nice drawing but I can go in and make that arc a little bit cleaner here like that right we don't want any surprise moves we want our arcs to be clean right so now this leg has come into position this leg has been raised off the ground right now it's got to step forward again so we need this leg to be coming here right as it steps forward like this and this leg let's check the knee arc the knee comes in and around so we can turn that knee out now it's fine so we're circling the knee as we're doing all this so you know, the law of arcing is so important to to getting this stuff um to have the naturalistic movements right that we're all going for when we animate right so now this knee is gonna come in and back like that boom let me just check the legs here hey sneak long time no see herb theo if herb theo is that uh, 16 year old that's joined the facebook community hello um uh, i'm really impressed with your posts i'm gonna make sure that i look at them um at some point so here you i'm really happy with the leg uh, actions now we can really see how the build up is occurring and the little change up between the the timing is all happening there like that okay right so almost two hours a good time we've been we've been spent pretty good time on this uh, stream right um we're almost done actually so as this comes in here I'm gonna get my original which was just much thinner smaller thing and I'm gonna remember I'm gonna just 
put that here to remind me of what's happening with the torso and the hands. Again, I'm not too concerned about the size of the character, right? Um, in fact, that's all good, right? That's all good to go where it needs to go, which is this frame. We've only got two, one, two frames left, one and a half frames left to do, right? So now let me see what to do with the hand. So we're going to bring this hand here. All right, and then this hand, we're going to cover, this hand was coming back, but now we can, where does it go? It just stays there, so we can just bring it out a little bit for the arc, All right? I can bring it up and out like that, All right? Bum, 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 that's good. Right, now. Let's just do something with the head. Before I come in here, right, I'm going to pull these things down a little bit to kind of um, help this all kind of add up to the way it needs to be, right? So now this is where we really started getting bigger and bigger, right? So we can all... Just start looking at all that and bring it down. Because my my general body proportions are all good, it's okay. Right? Don't have to worry too much. All right. Keep her head almost level there. Yep, so still she'll get a little smaller, but I don't care. Um, it's enough to to build on and, and really start the loop going again. Right, so this leg can turn out in the down. So then here we're going to push this down position. Right, and now the down has to, the foot has to come back. Right. You know, maybe not have it so out like this right I'll go in and tweak this drawing it's a difficult angle to make right maybe I won't have it so far out right? and this knee is gonna go even lower and further back to this all right I'm gonna come back and sort that out connecting the cycle is always um, where you're gonna have to think a bit more right so I'm thinking of the twist in the body the down of the head now I've got to try and unify these hands. Do these hands kind of work with that anyway, right? So they're going there, 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 there. Right, so we'll just bring that out a bit. All right, there. Then this one we'll bring here like that. Um, um, um. Right, now I'm just going to tweak this drawing because it's extremely rough. Let's throw in the anatomy. Right, so the pelvis is here, the pelvis is turning here. This leg will be somewhat more like this. The foot will be more flatter. This leg will be more coming in here like this. As the um, as the feet are sliding away, 
you got to kind of get used to that when you're doing a cycle right getting that feel of things traveling backwards and further away from you right no, I think that's good enough for the head. And I will blow that up just a little bit, even though she gets super small hair. But that was the first drawing we did, right? So when we use pose to pose to tie all this together, um, it's all great, right? So let's take it from here to here we'll copy edit copy panels and we will edit base panels and we will edit base panels all right so now we basically have roughed out in the sort of front three quarter i would say uh the 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 basic kind of skip cycle um, and you can see we've got very kind of naturalistic movements going on in the hips in the shoulders in the arms and the timing of keeping the arms at the front on one side as we turn so those arms are nice and delayed uh, so it's not that hard uh, to rough out um, these body mechanic movements when you have the fundamentals in place. Um, so that's that. Now just for fun. Um, that's three pages of my sketchbook already. Um, just for fun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to blue in the initial working out we did so we initially worked out the mechanics from the side right then I went to draw in a more humanoid thing I said that I was gonna switch from the law of um, straight ahead to pose to pose but I didn't right um, it's all one law between the two uh, aspects of the law, right? Um, I would now switch from straight ahead to pose to pose because now I've got something to really work with. Um, I've, I've got a more humanistic human form. The original was very expressive, very gestural, right? Um, so let's just take that and edit copy and let's paste that there and paste that there right and let's see how they all how they relate right so we can see that they're um almost you know they feel like the same but they're not right but you can see how it's very important why why cycles walk cycles in particular are fundamental to to learning good animation a lot of people complain about um, the late great Richard Williams's book the animator survival kit oh it's just a book on walk cycles again these are the ignoramuses the the juveniles that watch anime um, that just want to make up fight scenes well that ain't that hard you see a lot of that's why they do it you know because they they watch it all moving and they go oh well look look at my fight scene right the real thing is to get true body mechanics understand how the human body works um get the locomotion correct um of certain aspects of the body in relation to the other and those fundamental poses of um uh, contact down pass up and contact again are extremely important for everything now you've seen how I've just with no visual reference at all I got out of my chair and I hopped around a bit at the beginning of the stream it was a bit of a laugh you saw how I 
just did that and was able to to come to to do something like this now um i did mention that you can get something in the intermediate archive if i go to the real animator training library at ambanimation.com which really explains how to do something like this in in depth um so what if we go into the archives um what it has here is it has uh the intermediate archive all right you won't learn that in the basics in the basics you'll learn if we go here you will learn the basic walk cycle which will teach you like separate you that tell you about the legs then adding the body then adding the head and then adding the arms and timing it and all that and you'll go through four different videos you will then move on to a standard walk cycle right and you see all this stuff you've seen me knock out today being explained, you know, multiple charts, all the same things, the front and the side and all that kind of thing uh, being explained in detail here. You'll do it with a jogging cycle, right? So again, the jogging is a, you know, the skip is a mixture between the jog and the walk or the run, you know, which is just a more dynamic skip or jog. Uh, rather um so you learn all that then you also learn how to walk do the front walk cycle right again with all these four things right and you also learn in this step-by-step -step video is how to do a front run cycle right so you learn all these things and but this what we did here was beyond just a basic one cycle we do like there's some shuffle shuffle in between right going on as we're doing that so w what we what we then do in the intermediate archive is if we go into the intermediate animation archive is you go on to this thing called um, uh, you got to do a flower sack but after the flower sack there's this thing called the four human step four step human walk cycle so we go in here and we create this walk cycle. Um, let me just play the beginning so you can see the walk cycle that we do. Hello, hello and welcome, welcome. Yeah, skip a bit. One, one, uh, uh, one. This. And then we did the uh, this way just a brief at the beginning. And it's head. Okay, well, it's uh, maybe at the end of the video. Um, so some of you know here. what this thing looks like but we cannot okay cycle that's just that's just the first the part of the video let's i should have gone to because the last video it would be silly let me go to the last video right and we'll find that we'll just jump to the end all right there but we go when we time it okay so this oopsie it, so this half, is the half, half. Half, half. Yeah, and so. then back to back. Some of you are getting a sneak peek so at this video. At it, okay, so there we go, the step, step then and the, the little step in between. So, so you learn how to animate this when we over these it, videos, okay, right? When we put it, you can make him so that's the four-step human walk cycle. Um, like. And funnily so enough, in the intermediate archives, it's only three parts, right? <laughs> Compared to the um, uh, the other walk cycles that we did in um in the uh in the basics archive so it shows how you move on a lot and then you move on to quadruped walks and quadruped runs so you do the same thing with dogs um you know you got the walk you got the trot you learn the back legs and the front arms uh, you really go in there you don't just watch me do it like this right so that's something that you'll um you'll garner from the intermediate archives of uh, real animator training if you could if you want okay you can buy these archives one at a time whichever suits you you have that option in the real animator training library um if we just go back here i'm signed in now come on let's go to join um so we go here 
So you will see uh, training archives, right? So you go here. You can either have a bundle, which will give you a combination of a lot of these archives and the edutainment archives, or you can just get intermediate, basics, advanced animation lectures and all that. Uh, the edutainment archive gives you um, more stuff like what you got for free here, right? Uh, so if you like this content and you want more, like for example, we have just released our anime Sakuga and effects breakdown archive, right? So people into anime, you can watch me animating yeah. um, the, these breaking down this famous Naruto fight scene and you can watch me doing shot by shot analysis uh, of each uh, thing as I reanimate it, right? Um, let's just skip ahead here, right? So you can also watch me animating um, anime effects, like these kind of fire effects that we break down from Howl's Moving Castle, Weathering With You, um, you know, uh, Akira. So you can watch me breaking down all these different kinds of effects in the anime edutainment archive. Again, the edutainment archive Lots of different things. You can just watch these videos. You can just um, pick uh, whichever one you want to and buy them individually. Uh, they're not priced uh, extremely high. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is the uh, Real Animator Training Library, the world's best learning resource in the craft of hand-drawn animation. If you really care about your work, if you really want to move forward in animation and you want to be able to create work uh, that people will accuse you of rotoscoping or tracing when you actually just knocked it out from your own imagination, uh, pretty effortlessly if you want to get to that level you certainly can because I'm sharing I've shared already with the exception of muscles uh, drawing muscles I've shared practically most of the things that I know in this place within these archives right so um, you can certainly get to that level um, so click on the link and consider consider changing your life and becoming the animator you truly wish you were Okay, so that's Real Animator Training. Um, right, so that's it. Um, I'm not going to hang around too much longer on this stream. I feel I've done what I wanted to do. There's so much more that we could do. We could add a cape to the character, you know. We could add all kinds of things. But uh, I feel I've given you enough information and uh, shared with you um, a lot of the process that is required now uh, just a reminder to you before I come to the chat and have a little word with you all this is all you know um, I animated a lot of skipping from my little red uh, project which you can see on YouTube here um, now I'm still running ads on this thing because I believe in it but like I guess I just uh, presented it to people like a trailer and people have watched it like a trailer. So here we see Little Red skipping and all that. So what what it is, is I animated one, uh, one minute, one and a half minutes of this all on my own. Very quickly, very just like what you saw me doing here, right? Um, and just drew my character on top and painted the backgrounds. Knocked it out really quick. And I said, let's try and get this Real Animator Studios going. Let's get some funding uh, for this thing. So at the beginning, I mentioned it a little earlier. So if you click on this link here, see the only mention to the funding, which was my bad, really, which is why we didn't really get much funding on the initial phase of advertising that I did. Um, and probably not on the continued ads. I'm running ads to get my views up because I want the views up for uh, funding purposes if I wanted to raise capital in other ways, right? Uh, I've got a lot of great feedback from the comments and the like to dislike ratio, uh, which is what Amazon do and Netflix do. That's, that's a lot of great other aspects. So I'm still running ads on this to, for that information. But um, the, if you click on this link here, it says 
make help make little red a reality find out how below if you click on this link here you'll be given some information about the project and the funding and the different phases of funding needed so for example we're trying to raise 70 grand for a four minute to finish the four minutes of this uh, at the moment we've animated one minute 21 seconds now some people say 70 grand for four minutes well this is high quality Disney stuff I'm gonna need to get people to help me finish it fast and then after that we need to you know we're not gonna get funding like that the whole 70 doesn't go in to um, the production the seven the, a lot of it will be going into getting names uh, what you need to do if you know anything about um, raising capital is is you need it's all about the deal now they're gonna go well AMB you you did great you made this film and it got views on YouTube and you raised that money but who are you really what have you directed before who's writing the script why should we invest in this whether whether people are showing that they want to see it on YouTube or not why should we who's who's involved why should we trust you with our uh, you know big budget to fund a full feature film development which is what phase three is right so we need to uh, acquire uh, professional agents and professional people uh, as well as secure certain script writers be they mid-tier or low tier or even high tier that I can work with that have had that have a reputation that will enable me to be able to present this to uh, people with the respective capital to turn this into a um, into a full-blown 90-minute feature so that's why you know I'm not being like uh, the Bluth uh, Dragon's Lair and asking for 500k to make a minute right I'm or some or something like that I'm asked or like a I, I don't remember how how long the Dragon's Lair thing was I'm, I'm, so I'm doing it relatively very low in comparison. But just to put things in perspective, um, I've learned a lot of lessons by by being too discreet about this. With 189 views, uh, with 189,330 views presently on this thing, and even if we had one dollar from um, half of those, my maths isn't great. We would we would have met our um, our budget or gotten close to meeting our budget right so it isn't that unrealistic to actually bring traditional animation back if if, if many of you are saying there's so many people complaining about it and, and moaning about what's Disney Disney aren't gonna stop they're not gonna change stop remaking their things and destroying the original so those original things have gone and the thing is is people say they want something original they want something new well you're getting it you're getting it. It feels familiar. It's presented in a familiar way, but you're getting it here. I'm, I can give it to you here with uh, with Little Red, um, and we we have the people. We have people that are ready to help me work on this thing right now. Um, from the Real Animator Training Library, we're going to turn it into Real Animator Studios, right? Um, so y y you can't sit there and complain and say well nobody's making the, the the traditional animation nobody's making the things we want to see nobody you know and then bitch and moan about how they're readapting he-man or readapting lord of the rings and it's it's nice to complain it's easy to be a complainer but if if you're a fan of something then you know even if it's a dollar right um you could pretty well make something happen or be on the way to making something happen even if you got the four minute film made you'd have the four minute film um, and then it would have been at least moving into a phase where look we're, we're gonna present this to people and um, get something done uh, out of it but anyway so that's the whole um, little red uh, thing if you want to get behind that it'll be very much appreciated if you don't want to join real animated training and you want to thank me so i've been quite open with the way like i'm saying well look um if you contribute it's almost like giving me a donation right it's like you know uh thanks for entertaining me a valued one dollar token for putting all the effort you put into this project 
loved it. Let me buy you a drink, a valued five dollar token or five pound rather. It's a little bit more in pound, pounds, a little bit more than dollars. So uh, I've got to be clear about that. Uh, appreciation for all the effort you put into the project. Um, wow, I really appreciate all the hard work. A valued 25 pound token um, you put into the effort. Um, so it's just like, it's just donations to help this thing get made and to potentially be taken into further development. And, um, you know, there's lots of people funding people on GoFundMe over RC political kind of views or things like that, which really don't, in the grand scheme of things, it's just comfort just to make people feel better about irrelevant shit that's not really affecting their lives the way they really think it is, um, you know, on GoFundMe what's the latest trend that people are bitching and moaning about now right let's go and contribute to that or there are people who love hand-drawn animation and they want to see a new hand-drawn animation project uh, of a certain quality well it's not as difficult to get something as perhaps you think it is right so there it is. That's that's uh, the little red stuff uh, for you to possibly consider. Um, and now I'm going to go and talk to you guys in the chat. So thanks for uh, listening to all of that. Um, so I don't know if we've got... Let me just watch this again because I enjoyed doing it. And I take pride in my work. I'm quite happy that like... Again, this is a great way to overcome artist block. If you've got nothing to do, just animate. Uh, some basic cycles. Um, oh wow, and online I have just got a one do pound, I keep using the word dollar because I'm living here in New Zealand. I, it says on my phone, I'm not looking, it says on my phone Hernandez. So I'm guessing that is my friend. Uh, mute. Thank you, Mute. That's very sweet of you. If that is you, if it isn't, who I'm just assuming because I know Mute Midori used to be called Mute Midori Hernandez. Um, what am I doing? I'm, I'm looking, looking for my, for my webcam. webcam. Yeah. yeah. So, so if, if it's, it's not Mute, Mute Midori, Midori Hernandez, Hernandez, then Hernandez, Hernandez thank, thank you so, so much for that. that as, as a, a you know, know one, one, one makes, makes a difference. difference. Um, so, so another, another thing. thing um, I'm, I'm developing, developing other, other, other ideas, ideas as well, well as you know, there's the groundhopper ground and all of those things. No, thank you, Mute. Don't, you know, as I said, um, it's not as hard. If, 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 if half of the view people viewing had made a similar sentiment to you already, right? We would be there. We would be there. We would be like, um, so you call it peanuts, but it's actually not. So life fantasy would be animating on the project. Charlene will be um, helping in between on the project. Um, Dylan Draws would be in betweening and cleaning up on the project. Aaron AOX would be probably supervising the cleanup and doing the cleanup. Um, there's many more of you. Um, possibly Nia would be animating on the project. Um, give him a few scenes. I think he's uh, worked his muscles a little bit. A guy called Doug Stoley. A guy called Noah. Um, Akau would be involved. Um, we've got lots of people who'd, who'd, get the, who'd be able to get this stuff. Um, uh, who'd be able to get this stuff off the ground pretty quickly you know if you think i made that first minute and a half on my own now i am fast but i don't want to be cleaning up all the time and in betweening it just slows slows it down and i don't want to be painting the backgrounds either right i have somebody who can paint backgrounds for me um Yeah, you're right about that simon Bedouin. but the thing is is little red is just one idea and it's not really the passion project that I really want to pursue. Um, everything is stepping stones. So we've got, I've got the Groundhopper. I've got Alpha Man that I'm now creating. 
in in response to let me show you um, what have we got here some some of you might hate it some of you might say I want to put my money towards that as opposed to, <laughs> to little red so this is what it is like little red is just a little red was the very beginning the very start and you know and I'm, I'm still pursuing it because we've taken it so far but we've got um, we've got alpha man uh, which is I knocked this up in just a day right uh, some of you saw me drawing this uh, so let me alpha man which is something I just had here now you wanted He-Man, but you got Kevin Smith, you know. Uh, you wanted uh, Dragon's Lair, but you got Ryan Reynolds. And as I said, those things are always going to be happening with existing content. But you can have new content that is very much like the content that you wanted. Like, you know, you've got the Princess Daphne, the Dirk the Daring, the Space Ace style character you've got the singe borf style villain you've also got the star wars kind of lightsaber happening there um you've got the he-man uh you know alpha man concept there you've got raise the infinity sword fulfill your destiny become the alpha so this could potentially be a game like dragon's lair it could potentially be a 20 minute pilot for a series or it could be a feature film so um there's uh there's so much stuff uh amb animation is very much um, um advancing, advancing and, and moving, moving forward, forward um in, in there, there. <laughs> you are so, so sweet, sweet. Mute Mute midori. Midori. You know, um, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, as I said, uh, all of you guys who have been following me and who have committed to my training, if you haven't committed to my training or you've supported me in ways like midori, I'd like to involve people, but there, obviously there has to be the respective skills um, being used, you know, um, to make this thing, you know, organically make this thing and, and to, to make, make it ours so, so that one, one of the things that I've not really in, not really liked about Kickstarter is all this rewards incentive I get it okay well you give us this and you'll get a t-shirt or a poster and all that but that kind of if that kind of eats into the budget and causes a lot of problems and the thing is, is yeah I know there's a trust issue and all that other stuff involved with if you don't, don't get something, something back we, we want to see we want, want to be held accountable, accountable. So, so i don't totally understand the logistics of that but, but then, then you think with something, something like, like what i like about what we've done with our community is we know that like the, the amount of effort and energy that's gone into little red and i've made it all on my own you see it's there like the passion is there the the, the thing, thing is there, there and it's being constantly put out it's being put out for everybody everybody can access it for free on YouTube. YouTube. Now, now perhaps, perhaps if it's trigger warning content, content you're not going to be able to do that. that. But Little Red is not trigger warning content. And the original He-Man series is on YouTube. YouTube Kids and the Dragon's Lair playthrough is on uh, YouTube, as is the Space Ace. So even something like Alpha Man, which could potentially trigger a few people um, and that's not my intention I just want to make the kind of content that I like that I grew up on I mean let there be all kinds of content for everybody you don't want to I've just turned off my double mic in case anybody wants to warn me about that um, you don't you know just create the content for the people who want it a lot of people might have liked the new He-Man but then a lot of original He-Man fans hated it and I was one of them you know I didn't even watch it because it wasn't what I wanted um, as I said, I don't really enjoy stuff anymore because it's not the way I remember it. You say, well, you've got to adapt and you've got to change. No, I'll just make the stuff that I want to see. That's what I'll do, you know. And, and I know that there are plenty of other people that are willing to do that. 
and not depend on, on these things. So I just think it's great that you can make something and put it out there for everyone to enjoy. And then rather than going to the cinema, it's like, it's like investing in a cinema ticket. It sounds stupid, but rather than going to the cinema and putting your money and sitting and watching the film, you're saying, well, I really believe in this hand-drawn project and this, what this guy is doing. Let me put 25 bucks down or one buck down or whatever. And, you know, otherwise that could be blown on what anything. It's blown on, on all kinds of stuff that people claim oh, that, that, that it's crap anyway. They know that they're blowing it on crap. So you don't need me to say that you're spending your money on crap. You, you say it yourselves and you know it yourself sometimes. So the thing is, is, rather than doing that, just put it to this and then just wait. And then, and then it'll, it'll appear. It'll appear in front of you and it'll be free for everybody. And that, that to me is a, is a great concept. Now it might be that that concept doesn't work. And that's what I originally wanted to do with, with Little Red. It might be that that concept just doesn't work and I may have to go down to the, the Kickstarter route. Um, and the Indiegogo route, or the GoFundMe route, or, 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 you know, just completely just start trying to raise capital and uh, and go to streaming people from the start. Now the reason I want to avoid streaming people is this whole triggered thing and adhering to all this. The, the very fact, I don't know if an if a, if if a, if a Dragon's Lair or a He-Man would be approved on on. The, the today's current platforms because they all don't seem to want that kind of content anymore as i said they even disney uh, from clownfish tv who have have been quite cool with their uh, resources and information and true they're certain biased in one way uh, so that could be argued but they pointed out stuff about how Disney are looking to remove Walt's name from the company because they're embarrassed about about it. So if that's what's going to happen, then it doesn't seem to be that people are people are kicking and blinding and moaning and complaining. But it, things aren't really going to change um, as long as you're all the time depending on the same people, right? Um, they may pull back because because people are refuse a lot of people are refusing to buy and all that, but you can bet they'll do it again. You know, uh, so the thing is, is there are other ways to to make things and enjoy enjoy content if you want to be a consumer and if you want to feel like you're part of it because you are all very much part of it, even though we haven't raised virtually anything for Little Red because I as I conceded I was so discreet in my presentation I thought I would create it like to be a Netflix trailer and naively I thought people would read the description and watch till the very end and see the help make it a reality and all that um, because you, I, I didn't want I wanted to present it like a trailer <laughs> and um, was uh, was uh, in hindsight perhaps the not the right way to go about doing it. Maybe I should have made a video like this small part of my live stream uh, talking about Little Red. But um, but the, you know that's why I love do documenting my progress with all of you as I as I've built this training library and I've broken through from quitting the animation industry and becoming a content creator and a uh, influencer of some size, you know, um, that and now I want to push forward with, with actually content creation being geared towards intellectual properties and uh, projects and TV shows, films, um, shorts, even games. As I said, we could make a quick action. Uh, style game like Dragon's Lair with Alpha Man. Um, obviously, we could have to hire programmers and people like that. 
Okay, right, so let me just go and look at the comments. Um, we didn't have many comments in today's uh, chat. Uh, so I'm just going to have a look. Kevin Silver is inspired. He wants to try to make his animation that way. Um, that was the two Kevins. I remember that. It's it's the best workflow, uh, Sam Matrix. It's the once you know what you're doing, it's the best workflow because it literally is. That's what I keep trying to tell people when they are signing up to the training library or they're considering. I'm like, like saying to them, look, imagine, just stop and imagine a time where you never have to worry about drawing something right or animating something, the, the, the actual technical process. You'll never really have to worry about it again. You just may not, that doesn't mean you'll be the best in the world at drawing and animating, but what it means is, is it means that everything you do will be competent and representative and correct um, in regard to drawing an animation. Imagine a time when you can sit down at your desk and that's your life. And what would you do? You'd be 100% free to do whatever you'd want with no fear of having any problems or challenges. The challenges would be to then get it to a higher standard than your current standard, which is already extremely high, right? Those would be the challenges, because challenge always appears. where, uh, And that's where flow occurs, where challenge meets skill. That's where you get it. That's where flow occurs when you're skilled enough and the challenge meets it. And just like you saw in today's stream, I flowed through it. I flowed through it. There were small challenges in there. But I weren't worried about them. I didn't. I knew that I had the skills and I had the abilities, and we, I flowed through it. Right. So that's what people also ask me. Um, how to get into a flow state? Well, one of the things that I perhaps miss when I talk about that is, is I talk about the having know-how and experience, but also it's having the skills so that where challenge meets skill. Right. So the challenge is the rock. What does the water do? The water either flows around it, flows over it, or, you know, in many cases, the rock eventually is reshaped by the water. So um, flow is where challenge meets skill. So that's what acquiring the ability uh, to animate well through learning the 12 laws of animation subconsciously will get you. Um, bum, bum, bum. Funny, I was watching one of their videos about Cartoon Network. I like. I don't really watch a lot of anime. Um, Red is Red Fox here. Yeah, how are you doing, Red Fox? Um, three pages of her sketchbook completed already. Well done, Mute Midori. Um, well, the information is all here for you, Kevin. Wow, I hope I can create something as great as this with my test. Go ahead. The information is all here for you. Try not to just try to copy what I've drawn here. This isn't a tutorial. This is uh, just a demonstration stream. It's edutainment. If you're an animator and you know what you're doing, which you are, Kevin, then you'll be able to look at this and uh, read it as, the, uh, as, as an animator, and it won't be so intimidating you but there'll still be a, a trap of just if you just copy what I do then you'll become just the same as you know the greater percentage of people watching the stream that don't have your training um, uh, I'm looking to cr create a muscle archive and I'm looking to create a advanced beyond advanced archive um, I want to call it the professional archive because as you see yourself Kevin you've completed the advanced animation archive 
you are still got to work those muscles, you've still got to get proficient. You may have the knowledge, but still got to get proficient. So I'm now going to create an archive for people who have become proficient. Um, and, you know, all the, you know, I'm looking to animate that dialogue test with the great one. And, you know, even things like character design. Um, what does it take to design a character like Alpha Man? Or things like that. I just knocked out that thing in a, in a day. Just knocked it out in a day. And, um, and there you go. Um, ba -ba -bum. Could we try and put irotoscopeness in videos <laughs> just to see if people would believe? Uh, that's a good idea. You should be my uh, sales agent, Red Fox. Um, clickbait. Every time I think I'm going to do clickbait, I just go and do it. No, I do it in a, in a, in a subtle way. I just go and do the, 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 the clickbait thumbnails the way, you know, you see some of these ones. My clickbait is a is is a is a very nice curvaceous AMB lady, which isn't really the best clickbait. However, it is the only clickbait that I will use. Um, fire and ice animation. Um, no, I don't think that at all, Red Fox. I love realistic animation. Um, it shouldn't be CG uh, at all. Maybe you're just, I don't have time to go into that right now, but maybe you've just listened to something I said earlier about exaggeration in cartoon and just take, take completely um, misunderstood it to think that I don't want realism. Um, have you thought about putting a thank you on YouTube videos? I see that on premiering videos in other channels. Um, I don't know uh, what what that is, Charlene. I haven't seen that at all. Um, bum, bum, bum. Movies are expensive as is everything. The movie I saw kind of sucked too. Yeah. I've got to worry. I don't have much ambition besides improving, but lately I've been wondering what I'm improving for. I don't just want to be a tool to point at work, but I don't know how to get out. Have you ever heard of this thing called overthinking, Simon? Imagine a, imagine an athlete, a top runner, that didn't take the time to... Uh, to learn to walk when he was a baby. And can you remember how to learn to walk? The, the problem with adults is, is they think they know. And so do even young teenagers and children. But most people, when it comes to animation, aren't even at the baby scrolling stage. They, they, they think because they're an adult and because they can draw Batman or Wonder Woman or some anime character, they think they know. They don't know Jack. They don't know Jack shit. They don't know anything about animation um, uh, when you can come on a live stream what I've done and do something as complex and as informative as what I've done um, just effortlessly in a sit down session like that then you have options you have choices of what you want to do right but if you really want to move forward in, 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 in animation then you got to get good at animation but then, but, but it depends. Maybe you don't want to get forward in animation as a as a as an artist or as a as a creator of animation in terms of the drawing and the characters and the designs and the movement and all that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe you just want to be the writer, the screenplay, the script writer, or the you know the storyboard or or even all these things. They're all the various different skills. If you want to be a filmmaker, then learn filmmaking, or get involved with filmmaking every every avenue you take has a skill set that you're going to have to understand and learn whether it's animation whether it's storyboarding whether it's 
illustration, whether it's even being an editor, whether it's being a sound man, whether it's being a script writer, whether it's being all these different art director, concept, visual development artists, they're all got their own skill set. So you're so early on, Simon, and you're worrying about something. The only thing that's good out of what you're doing is, is you get to check your premises and say, is this something I want to do? If it is, then continue and get good at it. And then the rest will happen. It will unflow. We, we, the problem with humans is, is they are so like 90% of people are unsuccessful and failures in what they want to do because of the fear of the unknown. Well, you can bet th that that's a fool's game to play because everything is unknown, right? I remember when I was, I was uh, 32 when I got married. I used to think I would never be out of England. I would never uh, marry somebody who had already been married or had a had a kid from that marriage. And I would never go to New Zealand. wasn't even on my radar. I was in the animation scene in the industry in the UK. I was doing very, very well. I was, you know, turning Tim Burton Frankenweenie down and opting on other projects and all these kinds of things. I never have imagined that I would be throw that all away and move and uh, to a country like New Zealand, get married, have a stepdaughter, and now willfully be uh, not in the industry, choose to make online training courses and create my own courses. That was all the unknown. And if I was afraid of that, then I would still be in my little shell doing the same old shit in a state of paralysis, you know, which is what I see so many, so many people who I know in the industry going from project to project, shit preschool show to shit preschool show. You know, super. I'm a supervisor. I'm a this of this. Well done. All right. Congratulations. Jubilations. La la la. Cliff Richard. But when I really think about it, what the fuck's it all for, man? I would be. I to, to to think if I was gonna be in going to my grave, knowing that that was the majority of my life. Throw away preschool shows, which is what, you know. I would say 75 to 90 percent of the industry is or just crappy throwaway content with of puppet mation or 3d animation or 2d puppetry not even hand drawn you know if it was hand drawn maybe I'd say well okay um, at least I'm drawing and I'm working my drawing and I'm enjoying the drawings I'm making but these projects are so banal. They're so so simple looking, like just cartoon networky shapes and things like that. If that was the rest of my life, good God, just so the fear of the unknown is foolish. It's better to have faith in the unknown and to say. Well, I'm getting so good at this that something has to come out of it and something good will come out of it, right? Um, I'm not going to give you advice on that based on your experience. Should I drop my J job and go all out to create my cartoon? Here's the thing, Kevin. I could tell you something. Aaron Blaze could tell you something. Glenn Keane could tell you something. If Milk Carl was resurrected, he could tell you something. Don Bluth could tell you something. Um, Hayao Miyazaki could tell you something. But really, it's got to come from within. That A decision like that has to come from within, right? Because even if I give you an answer, your subconscious will protect you. And what does it mean by protect you? Right now you have a habit pattern and system of beliefs that have gotten you so far to take you as, as, to a certain place. And your subconscious beats your heart 
it expands and contracts your lungs it pumps the blood around your body it works your central nervous system it grows your bones it heals you it fights off all infections and does everything so that you can experience your five sensory data and enjoy the external realm right your subconscious is gonna no matter what what decision you you consciously decide to make your subconscious is gonna protect you right so what I what I would say to you is is you have to do some serious thinking now I'm gonna recommend a book to you which is called by a man called Napoleon Hill called think and grow rich okay it's a very famous book and most people think that they've read it once oh yeah I've read that book here's the thing people read books like content consumers on Netflix I've watched that now I want to watch something else and only one time watches um, my wife doesn't love love film the way I love film to her and like most people which is why I say these content creators aren't going to change because the passionate few who don't like them meddling with the existing material they're not making it for you they're making it for people like my wife who have said I've consumed that I don't have time to watch that again let me find something else whether they liked it or not is irrelevant they they feel they've watched it they're done with it there's so much other content out there what else can we watch there's so many books out there so many whatever out there that the best books I don't read people say I want your reading list AMB it's the same reading list as it was five years ago I don't change those books there you know as I said the subconscious builds your habit patterns right and it saves you you think why do you think I make you animate these exercises more than once right because I want you to be able to understand uh, the habit patterns to be able to animate right I want you to have those habit patterns that will enable you to be able to animate and it ain't gonna happen from just doing the exercise once like I said you can sit there or you can like I don't have my dumbbell right now you can do one dumbbell curl and put it down I've done that right let me find some other exercise to do a pull up all right I can't really do it but I've done that let me find that's how people live their lives when it comes to reading and when it comes to animation drawing or anything that they think oh I drew that right let me find something else go back and draw it again you mean you drew it and draw nothing go back and damn well draw it again if you want to do it you believe in it do it again and again and again and again just like you keep throwing punches until eventually when you can get that sound that's when you know that you can do it and even then you still do it right again and again and again and again until efficiently um, the thing actually happens the efficiency and the skill actually happens for you to become good at it all right so the book I recommend to you Kevin Silver think and grow rich before taking any action at all inform yourself um, and his opinion is not really an opinion it's information for your subconscious all right and a lot of the things I share with you are things that I've learned from these kind of books and I adapt them to my niche because it's all the same whether it's building a business making money doing a sport being fit losing weight getting good at art and animation it's all about subconscious habit pattern conditioning and knowing about your level of awareness of how the human body operates and how it works and when you and I don't mean biology physical 
what it does as a physical like the brain does so much more than just control the nervous system of what your body the brain is a sender and receiver okay what do you think these things are based on where are they sending what 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 signals are they reading where we can't see them right so you don't think your brain isn't getting the same thing and doing the same thing right so um basically it's all the way it works and doesn't matter what I say or anybody says when it's a life changing life transformational decision of that scale then you need to do some serious thinking and I mean real thinking right most people think they th think they think but they don't they merely react based on their conditioned habit pattern thought processes um, from external material so if I said something to trigger you which is what the media love doing you're triggered that sends your body in a certain vibration everything else is based around that and you're not thinking you think you're thinking you're reacting right responding is so much more important so first off Kevin the first piece of advice I'd give you is to sit down and close your eyes and visualize your cartoon right your cartoon fully made fully created and people buying it do you believe that that'll happen as you close your eyes and visualize what are your beliefs on it what are your true beliefs how does it hit you in here you could say yeah 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 but what are you, what are you thinking in here when you when when you say that if you sit there and say sit, look at yourself in the mirror and say i'm the world's I'm one of the world's best TV series creators today. Cartoon Network, I've done five shows for Cartoon Network. I'm now in talks with Nickelodeon with a major deal to do something. Go to the mirror and make statements like this and look at your face. How does it make you feel? How does it make you feel? And that's going to be eye-opening for you. And the thing is, is if it doesn't make you feel good, that's okay, right? That's the reason why you are where you are right now. But I guess the thing, habit patterns are simply patterns, vibrational patterns. They can be altered, right? And you've been able to alter um, the way you draw and animate through the habit patterns I've conditioned you with through real animated training so don't you think by repeated thoughts and repeated processes you can do that with the way you think about yourself and what you're capable of but anyway I've just scratched the tip of the iceberg if you're serious Kevin Napoleon Hill think and grow rich I created my art because vi I have something to say visually fantastic that's one of the best most purest and honest ways of creating your art that's what it was why it's art all right now three hours and two minutes I feel we've gone on for long enough I'm now gonna say bye bye uh, think about what the thumbnail for this stream will be and I'll see you all on the next live stream keep it remember keep it real Bye-bye.